Today we're going to teach you how to install a subway tile without using a tape measure. First up, let's talk about the material that we're going to use. So for our application here, we got this 4x16 subway tile. And uh, maybe you can see it, but maybe you can't. But this subway tile, and all subway tile rather, has a built-in spacer that allows you to just put these tight together and it gives you an adequate grout joint uh, for this particular type of material. You can also have a bigger grout joint if you, if you prefer, but uh, most people just want that nice thin look. Uh, we're going to be using this Omni Grip here, being that this is not in, in a wet area, and this is just for decorative, this Omni Grip will do just fine. Uh, the other thing that we're going to use is this trim cap here. So this is just a metal finishing piece that we're going to have to cut and shape, and we're going to have to put a 45 on there, and we'll show you how to do that. And now as you can see in here, I've already got all my marks. I like to start in the center of each wall and what that allows me to do is put all my cut edges to each side. <clears throat> so each one of these walls, uh, except for the door jam here, the door jam I will start tight to this trim here and then I'll put all my cut pieces into that corner. Uh, with this back wall here I'm going to start in the middle and have all my cuts on the edges. Same with this wall, same with this wall. And make sure you stay tuned for today's cheat code to figure out what this piece of wood behind me is all about. Alright, so we're going to start here on this wall and the first step that we need to do is we need to cut our metal track so that it spans this whole distance with a 45 cut on that side and we're probably just going to leave it square on this side because this is such a tight joint that no one will be looking back there. So first thing we're going to want to do is take our measurement and then transfer that onto our metal strip. Now when you're cutting these decorative trim pieces at a 45, you want to measure to the long points. And now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take our speed square here and we're going to transfer our mark. So our long point was 95 and 3 eighths and we want to make sure that we cut this in the right direction in order for this next piece here to meet into this piece and make a nice tight seam. And so now that we've got our mark, now we need to cut this. And so for those of you out there who know your way around the tool belt, instead of making this mark on here in order to do it uh, faster, you could just hold your speed square on here, right where your mark is, and then use your multi-tool and make your cut using your multi-tool on your line. Now, as you can see, we've got a nice 45. So what we want to do next is we want to take our adhesive that we're using, and we're going to want to put adhesive at least down about two tiles. And you're going to want to follow your pencil mark that you made to know where your level line is around the perimeter of the room. Now when you're spreading your adhesive out, you need to make sure that it's even and consistent so that your tiles sit flat and flush. If you leave too much adhesive behind one tile and not behind the next, you could end up with tiles that are rocking or not on the same plane as each other. And uh, most times it doesn't look very good. So after you've got some adhesive on the wall, in order to hold your piece of trim up, you're going to want to stick this trim on to follow your pencil mark and then you want to follow that immediately with with your tile and one thing I also recommend you doing is that right here you can see 
that our adhesive is behind the metal and we need to make sure that our tile makes positive contact in these open spaces. So what I like to do is take a little bit of this adhesive, put it on the back about equal distance of the channel here. and use it like that. Also remember that we put marks in the middle of our walls so what we're going to do is we're going to start our first piece of tile on our pencil mark here. can make cuts is that you could hold your tile in place and transfer the measurement of where the next tile is like this beginning of this video where we made our marks in the middle of each wall the other reason for this is that if you follow your mark in the middle of the wall here your cuts will end up the same on each side assuming your room is square the benefit of this is that what you can do in order to move quickly is that you can do the field first and then you can come back and patch in your cuts but don't get too far ahead of yourself because once this adhesive sets up it won't stick to your tiles very well and you could have some tiles falling off in the future. Now when you're making your cuts where one wall meets the next wall, you have a little bit of tolerance here in this corner because the next piece of tile is going to cover your cut. So don't worry about getting too close to the wall here. And now if you want to install this tile yourself without using a tape measure, make sure you make yourself a couple cheater blocks. So this here, this block is eight inches, which represents half of this tile. So we want to make sure that we line up this outside edge with the seam here in order to make sure that our tiles stay on the mark. upside down and you can transfer your measurements based on where the other tile is so in our case we've got one here and then
nothing was done. And that, my friends, is how you install tile without a tape measure. The dishes are done. And that's a wrap on this one. And so if you find yourself without a tape measure and you need to get the job done, that's how you do it. All right, y'all. In today's cheat code, I'm gonna show you guys how to make this process a whole lot faster. I've got this piece of wood that's at a perfect height to where my finished measurement is for my tile. And what we're gonna do with this is we're gonna make what's called a storyboard. As you can see here, I've got some tiles already laid out for you. But what this does, is this gives us an accurate measurement of how many tiles we need for our wall. And with this application, we're gonna start our tiles at the top where our level mark is, and we're gonna have our cut piece at the bottom. Now with these particular tiles, you want to stack them tightly to each other. And then you want to make a mark where your seam is at every seam. After you've got your board all marked out, you can transfer all these measurements onto your workspace. After you've made your storyboard, you're going to want to keep this around while you're working in your workspace. Now as you can see, with all these marks, this gives us an idea of where our tiles are going to be. And because we're starting at the top, and we're working our way down, we need to make sure that we stay on, on track here. <laughs> 